Andrew, uh, thanks for inviting us down today to your company, Crichton Manufacturing. This is a really interesting story. I know the viewers are going to love this one. Uh, firstly, the, the main reason for being here is you're uh, obviously a very successful UK manufacturer. Um, you've got a couple of star sliding head lathes here. Uh, what are you actually making on them? So we make a uh, wide variety of component parts for the um, scaffold industry, construction industry, medical sector. Um, primarily, we also produce a lot of component parts for our own product range. Uh, we'll touch on those a little bit later on. But uh, what, What's the split? What, what's, your, what's your subcontract versus your own product? Currently, we're on probably about 25% subcontract and 75% is our own product range. Now, sliding head lathes is a, is a growing market, especially for Star GB in the UK. In fact, they had a record year last year in the amount of units they sold into the field. Why did you venture uh, to the, towards this type of capacity and this type of machining? We were looking for a new machine that was going to kind of adapt to our requirements. Um, we went to Mac, saw a load of sliding head machines at Mac. Uh, Star were the most responsive. They turned up, they, they contacted, returned our calls. So they were interested in supplying us and, and that's how the relationship grew. And the first machine that you had installed here was after Mac 2016. So that was your 20 mil machine, was that right? That's correct, yep. And what are you actually doing on that? Is that, is that kind of straightforward component manufacture on there? It's a um, it's, it, variety of different parts. We do threading, knurling, tapping, internal, external parts, hexagon pieces. Um, so some of the parts can be quite complicated. And do you run the machine un, sort of unmanned overnight? Do you, do you look to it to, you know, for productivity? That's our key. Our key element is all productivity, 24-7, unmanned. That's our key. We have a very small workforce um, producing probably in the region of about 60 to 70,000 parts a month. So, um, yeah, our key element is, is workforce. And then the second machine came along, yep. which is this one here that stands behind us. This is the SA, SR38 Type B. This gives you the opportunity to do bigger bar diameters, doesn't it? And slightly more complicated work, is that correct? Yeah, we, um, we can work up to a 42 mil diameter um, non-guide bush mode and 38 mil. Currently we do pretty much all of our stuff in non-guide bush mode. Uh, it works better for us, we get smaller remnants from parts, so we get more maximum capacity out of our bars. A couple of words just on Star. Uh, uh, buying a machine is one thing, but you've obviously had to go through the journey of getting the machines installed, learning the technology. How's that, how's that process been? Great, yeah, we, we can't say anything worse. Um, we had, you always have teething problems with the machines. Um, Star, quick to react, quick to respond, you know, they're many miles up the road. Um, Cornwall, nobody wants to travel down to Cornwall, but they, we've never had a problem here. You know, we give them a call, kind of on a Monday, they're here on a, you know, two days later, solving no problems at all. Okay, now onto the next interesting bit, Andrew, is what your company actually makes, your own product, that's 75% split. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? So, uh, what are we gonna have a look? Let's do that. So this represents your product range then, does it? Can you tell us what it is, Andrew? Yeah, so about uh, four or five years ago, we were introduced by a, um, a person who wanted us to produce um, certain component parts for a historically known leisure product, or a, um, shall we say, a back massage product. Uh, we progressed the development stage and worked with um, our customer to a point in stage where we actually joined forces to produce um, a finished component part, which um, we've now been selling for the last three, four years very successfully. So a lot of the component parts that we produce on the Star um, are pretty much for our own range, as I say, 75% of them. But um, they're all sections, for example, that little section there, which goes on to our um, new, more modern range, which is just launched this year, which has proven to be very successful. Okay, so, so what actually, what is this product here? You, we got, we got different colours and sure. what, what does it do? Okay. So what you have in front of us is a, uh, a mains powered wand massager. Um, our product is called the Doxy wand. Um, we produce three different types of wands. We produce a Doxy massager, we produce a Doxy die cast, and our new modern range is the Doxy number three. So. They are mains powered one massagers for various different Whatever your imagination Whatever could your imagination could lead to. Yeah. If you if you've got tired shoulders or arms, that's great. Uh, if you want to use it for various other sections, you're more than welcome to as well. So. You, you can too. Okay. Now this this is obviously seventy five percent of the business now. It's taken off over the last four to five years. I mean, how many of these are you producing? So average we produce currently about four thousand of a month. 
um, and they go currently worldwide. With the expansion at the moment, we've just secured elements in uh, America with a warehouse in the States with a view to doubling our production to around about 8,000 units a month. So before the end of this year, we should be in access to 60 to 70,000 components a month. And is this a growing, growing market? Huge, definitely growing, yeah. Um, we are well known for our mains powered element. It's the most powerful wand massager on the marketplace. Uh, it is manufactured all by us, as you can see, in the, our workplace here in the UK. So we are actually one of the only manufacturers of um, adult products in the UK. Really? So most of the other stuff would, would be bought in then? Majority of all of this brought in is all China manufactured or abroad. And all the parts on this that go to make up this product, you, you say you're actually making the majority of them here on your star machine, hence the reason in the investment in the, in the new model. That's right, yeah. Majority of every single component that we produce in-house, everything from our tiny little hexagon standoffs all the way through to our attachment heads are all produced on our star lades. And is everything assembled here as well? I mean, you've got, you seem like you've got quite a, a production team here uh, putting all of this together. Yeah, everything's assembled in-house. Um, and currently, target figures are around about 250 pieces a day. 250 pieces a day, wow. And, and like you say, that, that's, that's growing. It is, yeah. With a view, we, we have to extend it. We've got to get up to about the 500 pieces a mark just to hit our requirements for American market. Now, when we first started this conversation, people might have been mistaken to think that this was actually a, a microphone, but it's far from it, isn't it? Very close. Well, yeah, I don't think you'll be singing any tunes into that. <laughs>